and Carrie here at Thousands of Roots. We have a big day planned today. It's Sunday, December 17th. By the time you watch this, it'll be uh, Tuesday. And uh, let's see here. We have Esther's birthday today. She's turning seven. Birthday girl. <laughs> we have a birthday girl, a birthday girl, a birthday girl. How old are you today? Seven. Tell everyone how old you are. Seven. Seven. Cool. <laughs> we have rain, wonderful rain going on. Those who've been watching our channel know that we've been in a drought here in Missouri for quite a while. We haven't had good rain for a long time. And so last night we had about a steady three, four hour rain, pretty hard rain. So that is great. We have two 1500 gallon tanks and we've had to have them filled twice now by the fire department. So uh, this rain is crucial for us. We're super, super excited. <laughs> Hope that more is coming to keep our, our tanks full. For our large family of eight, we need a whole lot more than 3,000 gallons of storage. It's not just us, it's our cows, all of our animals. Um, we do have a year-round creek and normally a year-round spring, but that dried up. The spring dried up uh, months ago and the creek is just barely flowing. So, hooray for rain! So. We're, it's gonna be hit and miss working on our project today, but we are hoping to finally get out and do our first chicken yard today, depending on the weather, of course. Uh, we also have the giveaway drawing. So we're gonna announce the winner for the giveaway. Hopefully you all who wanted to got in on that. I'm sure there's tons of other stuff going to be happening today, but that's, those, are the big, those are the big things. Mr. Pie, what did brothers get you? A dog doll set and clay. some clay got me and JJ got you those so little hair clips yeah. and some pretty sparkly stickers huh so all the brothers got her some fun little things Dad. to enjoy on her birthday <laughs> I'm big guy and I'll play nice <laughs> all right guys we're gonna work on the fencing we're gonna make a chicken yard and we're going to move the corral around a little bit right there where we're holding the calf at night, one of the calves at night. Move that a little bit and put in a chicken fencing area right over here. Oh, remember to stay to the end. We announced the winner of the giveaway. Place. Yeah. We're rebuilding. Oh, Just go there. Go go out here. Last year, genius. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on a second, Jack. Things heavy. Okay. This is very heavy. <laughs> yes. So I'm trying to figure out a way to move it. This is the idea I came up with. So I got to take pressure off of it so it doesn't break the wagon. But it'd be way easier than trying to roll this thing, flip it, and roll it, and carry it, and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, for sure. Uh, here we go. Heavy stuff. I don't want to roll it out over the turd. <laughs> I know, then you got to deal with the mess, huh? Yeah. It'll get all rolled up in there. It'll be nasty. One. Okay. Got it now? Yep. One, two, three. One, two, three. Almost one more time. One, two, three. Trying to reposition it so that they can roll it out on a more clean section of the pasture. There's a lot of cow pies through the section that we're fencing here. Uh, as you can see. As Esther would say, nice cow pie there. So here's some perspective. There's our house and the greenhouse we just did. And this section here where the cows are munching away is going to be our front garden space. 
These are the temporary shelters that will eventually possibly be a permanent barn. We're still trying to decide where the final barn location will be. So the chicken pen is going to go out past the corral panel section there. So that's where we separate Coco and the corral there and eventually that may we may extend the chicken yard into this corral section there but for now it's going to be uh, this whole section past the corral and over into the pasture just a little bit here so we'll be able to chuck cow pies from the pasture right into the chicken yard and then they'll eventually come right into this area in here where we'll be growing our food so the chickens will compost everything for us and then we'll just bring it right just downhill into the garden space after they've done their thing with it, made it into nice compost. Okay. You guys make it look so easy, but I know that stuff's crazy, crazy heavy. He is such a lover. <laughs> Laziest worker here. I got a helper pulling this fence with me. Doesn't look like he's out in me. Trying to warm you up a little. <laughs> Moving the coop in. We got these little movable coops years ago when we first moved to the homestead. Got three of them. They've come in so handy. They don't hold many chickens, but um, they've been great for temporary use until we can build bigger coops. So the crew that's been in this coop has been having free range of this whole pasture. Two and a half, three acre pasture as well as the whole future garden space there. So now they're going to just be in a little yard but um, we're going to be putting wood chips and old hay and cow pies, all kinds of stuff in there for them to scratch around and make into compost. Good work guys. Nene bug holding back the tide. <laughs> you are strong, boy. Hey Nathan, stand back and tell me about. <laughs> he gone. He gone. <laughs> Even though it was a slow start to the day, a very productive day here on the homestead, we got this whole chicken area fenced. I'll show you. So we start here where our gate area is going to be, cattle panel, and we put the uh, horse fencing. You can see the horse fencing all through here, so this should be pretty much chicken proof. Horse fencing all the way. That's the corner post of the horse fencing. And a nice 12 foot stretch right there and all the way back and let me show you the idea i have for the gate super duper simple 
I actually got this concept from Off Grid Doug and Stacy from something Doug showed. That this gate, what I did was just continued the fence all the way across and um, fence clipped it here. Fence clipped it. And we went a little bit past, okay, just a little bit, just by like one one space or so. And then I cut it. Just cut it. So my idea is for this carabiner here, okay, just pull the fence closed and can you see? Yep. And just hook it on there. Boom. So one carabiner here and one here. That's all we're gonna need. This is gonna be an experiment for a gate. Because this is this this fence is not gonna get pressure, you know, there's not gonna be any big animals. It's just for keeping chickens in. So it's not gonna be pressured by the cows. Only out there is gonna be pressured by cows. This is inside. This area where Josh is standing and filming in, this is gonna be one of our garden areas. So animals are not gonna have access to this. Ouch! <laughs> Man, kitty cat, sometimes you just want love too bad. Man, he claws you and climbs up you. It hurts. It hurts sometimes. Okay. So here's a gate and we'll see how it works. All right, Esther is about to pull from the basket for the giveaway for us getting to 2,000 subscribers. And the giveaway is going to be a $25 gift card to Baker Creek Seed Company. And it's going to be sent electronically, so by email, to the winner. All right, Esther Pie, go ahead and draw a name. And we had Esther pull it because it's her birthday today. All right, and the winner is Tracy Skinner. Tracy Skinner. Woohoo! All right, congratulations to Tracy, Tracy Skinner. Skinner. You are the winner. Please go to our homepage on our YouTube channel. On there, click on the About. And on the About, go down just a little ways and you'll say um, Show Email address or view email address click on that please then send us an email with your email address so we can send you the gift card thank you so much you guys and also uh, just a caveat um, you guys are making our YouTube channel grow uh, in the recent time here really fast so thank you uh, we are thankful and blessed and thanks to you Thank you so much for watching. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe. And whatever you do, do it with your whole heart. Yeah. <laughs> do it with your whole heart. Do it with your whole heart. <laughs> All right. After dinner, we had a lovely dinner of meatloaf and greens and cauliflower and potato patties and now what you eat Nestor pie yogurt frozen yogurt what do you think critter how is it yummy is it really yummy yeah what does it taste like what's the flavor yogurt yogurt yeah. is there some kind of berry in there with it no no there's no berries what kind of flavor does it have, Esther? A yogurty. A yogurty flavor? Strawberry. <laughs> kind of looks like strawberry to me. Is it strawberry, Joseph? Nope. Nope. It's not yeah. strawberry, it's yogurt? It's strawberry. The strawberries are all blended up so it doesn't look like strawberry. Looks like strawberry frozen yogurt to me. Yeah, that's yeah. what it is. Itty bitty. Life is grand. Yeah. Is life grand to me?